Hey there everyone, PK Gam here, bringing you some more Monkey Golf. This is probably going to take up the remainder of this part. Oh shoot, that was a really bad mishit. This is going to curve way to the right, but I might still get on the green. Or end up in the bunker, well that's okay. Uh, so yeah, this is more Monkey Golf, and this better not screw up the camera, because I swear, whenever the camera sees like a desert, it seems to think it's a good idea to start focusing on the graininess of the TV for some reason. I don't understand that, but uh, luckily I'm working on a direct capture method. Yes, direct capture method with a camera. I've got it all planned out, um, so I'll eventually be able to do perfect quality with my video. So that'll be pretty dang awesome. And I'll just be able to do commentary just like this, and, you know, live commentary. I won't have to do post-commentary. I got everything figured out. The only thing that I'm worried about is, oh crap, that was a bad shot. <laughs> or that was a bad putt. The only thing that I'm worried about with this setup that's coming is if the sound will desync from each other. Because I can't fix that, or at least I don't think I can fix that. So, yeah... So if that doesn't work out, I'll have to try again with some different camera. Oh, there it is! It just did it! See that on the screen? Because it, it's seen the desert, and then it just put that line well, on the screen. For now, um, until the camera decides to mess itself up again, but that will never happen again once I get this direct capture thing working. Uh, so yes, I will finally, after about two years of making videos, I will finally be able to make something that's actually good looking. <laughs> can you believe that, huh? And I, I can see that line starting to creep back up on the screen. Why does it do that? Hold on. Well, I guess that'll do for now again. Um, I'm going to try and land this onto the green now. I'm going to put backspin. And this is this is where I said the game is starting to get harder. Is on the back nine. Is now I have to try and get it onto very small circles. Oh my god, I actually made it. That was pure luck on my part. This is a par 5 as well, so... I'll have a good shot at getting an eagle here. So let's hit it about there, and since it's uphill, that should be... Oh! I thought it was pretty straight uphill, but I guess I was wrong. It broke just a little bit to the left. Oh well. So let's try and get this putt, and there we go. Hopefully the camera won't mess up anymore. I hate it when it does that grainy line thing across the screen. I hate it with a passion. And that that's why I'm working hard on this uh, direct capture method. It should also make my job of editing a lot easier. I shouldn't say it's a job. It's a hobby. But I mean, it'll make it a lot easier for me to uh, make videos. Uh, I should be able to make them faster. I don't have to worry about oh, oh, poopers. I don't have to worry about... Um, worrying about if the lighting will be right because I have to all these clips that I'm doing that I'm playing right now I have to adjust the lighting of it yeah seriously I have to tweak them in Windows Movie Maker to adjust the lighting of it uh, if it's too bright I tone it down if it's too dark I brighten it it is a thing let's just say that as uh, Raul Cal would say uh, if you follow him I don't know if you follow him if you don't uh, well, then you probably won't get that little joke reference thing there um, it's, it, because I, I can never get the quality perfect with the camera, and my perfectionist side has irked me for the longest time to get these parts, you know, as good as possible, possible but I'll never be able to do it with the camera. I mean, I think I get pretty decent cam camera quality with this, um, uh, with my method of doing this, but it's the best that I possibly can, but it will never be you know, perfect, and I can never do any game that I possibly want to do. That's why I uh, um, have all, or got, or, or bought all the equipment to, uh, for this new setup that I'm doing. And uh, it's, it's still coming in the mail as of the time that I'm making this video right now, so I can't say if this is going to work or not until I get the stuff. I think it will work. I already did a video on this before, um, a couple of weeks back. Um, if you've seen the video, go, I mean, if you didn't see the video, go back and take a look at it. If you did, well, ignore me then. Uh, I'm just basically talking about anything and anything now, just to kind of fill out the time, because there's nothing really much more to talk about here on this golf game here. 
Um, please don't go out of bounds. Oh, man. Um, as you can see, the green is on that lower plateau there. So you got to try and bounce your way up or bounce your way to that area if you can. Um, I'm going to try and control my spin here. This is where I'm, this is what I meant that this is where it's going to pretty much take all the shots out of you. Um, or it's going to start making you go over par because it, these shots are so precise. Well, maybe not this one, but there, there is going to be more. Believe me, you'll see. Do not think PK Gam is a liar. PK Gam does not mislead you. Oh my god, I got lucky. <laughs> Ah, uh, six hole, six more holes to go. Six holes. Or six, uh, I guess that would have been accurate. Um, what I'm going to be doing? Oh wait, I can just hit right towards the pin. Yeah, I can. Hmm. So I don't know what I should. Yeah, I, sh I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like, um, when I get all the equipment and stuff like that, if it turns out to be um, a bust. I'm not sure what I'll be able to do about it. Like, uh, well, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if I'll be able to return it easily and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, but I'm not positive of that. But I really hope I will be able to if it doesn't work out. I think I will be able to. God! Ah! I really want to get to that green now, just because I know it's, it's possible. I'm gonna try and tweak it just slightly downwards instead of going full out backwards spin so I get more power off the shot and maybe I'll make it. That is impossible to make, isn't it? Well, at least it is right now with the wind. Ah, just screw it. I'm gonna be over power anyway, so wait, wait, can I like, no, I can't. Never mind. Look at, look at my monkey at the bottom left corner of the, corner of the screen there. It's crying. Oh, poor monkey. Let's see if I can get across here now. If I get, if I manage to hit my ball into the bunker, the bunker will um, slow my fall, or I should say slow my roll. Um, that was way too much, probably, because it's in a... Holy crap. See, this is what I mean. Why was that too much power? It's only... And the wind is in my face. Why was that too much power? I just I just don't get this game. Oh, well. Can't have all good golf games, I guess. Besides, this isn't, this isn't really intended to be a pure golf game, anyway. Uh, when you get, like, ten or so over power or something like that for the hole, or you get ten strokes, uh, you automatically go to the next hole. Okay, it is just ten strokes. Uh, next hole, then. Power four. This one looks a lot easier. Uh, this, oh, wait. There's those... Uh, ginormous mountains in, in my way, but I don't think they're going to be a problem. So, let's just hit right over them. They are the boobs of this land. Do not touch them or you will get a harassment charge. So, I, I don't re recommend you do that. So, yeah, they're pretty easy to avoid with any character you, you use. I don't think any of the characters have any difference, really. You know, depending on how they play. Like in Mario Golf, you had, um, you had the ability to cho choose the characters, and they had different attributes that you could use for different courses to have, you know, like, a certain advantage for a certain course, so to speak. Or just have a balanced character for all the courses. Or just get used to the ones that have disadvantages on courses. But you, you see what I'm getting at here, is that all the characters play the same, as I said. There's two trees growing on top of that uh, mountain area. I don't know how the heck they grew up there. Because uh, you would think, you know, a seed would have to go up there, but seeds that grow trees that big are, like, are pretty big, and they're prone to traveling by wind, so I can't really see seeds getting up there that easily. Maybe a squirrel took seeds up to the top of that mountain or something. I have no idea. But I probably shouldn't be questioning the game logic. Oh shoot, I hit a tree. Oh, I'm in the clearing, so whatever. That makes me quite happy. 61 yards away from the hole. I got a 70 yard club. I'm in the rough, so I should be able to hit nearly full power. Although I said I should be able to. I have no idea. Because this thing just decides to do whatever the heck power it wants. Look at that. I mean, the wind was with me, but still, I was in the rough. Ugh. Six, six yards, I'm in the bunker. That should be just fine right there. 
Uh, roll, 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 roll. Yeah, chip in. Yeah, three holes to go. Oh man, this is taking quite a while. We got a nice logo going on here. Obviously, this is one of the easiest stages. I mean, where are you gonna fall off? Seriously. I mean, I suppose you could, you could hit your ball too far and go off the cliff. Um, but I'm gonna do like backspin just to make sure I don't. But I really can't see yourself, even if you did overhit. You you really couldn't hit overhit. You couldn't hit overhit that much. That's what I'm trying to say. Excuse me. Man, I just can't talk today. Oh well. Um. Uh, well, I shouldn't say oh well. Commentary is pretty important in my opinion in videos. I don't watch people typically who don't do commentary unless they have like funny annotations or subtitles or something like that or helpful subtitles or annotations. Um, I just feel like uh, I don't know. It's like if you if you don't have commentary or those subtitles or annotations, there just really isn't anything that sets your video apart from other people's. You know. That, 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 that's just my opinion. Some people prefer not to have commentary at all. Like, some people think commentary is annoying. I've gotten that a bunch of times, but eh, oh well. It's like 20 haters to 1,700 people who like you, so it's like... You're doing something well, you know? Can't please everyone. <clears throat> Ah, uh, it's an I-I shaped hole. Uh, maybe these holes aren't as bad as I remember them to be. Because I'm doing pretty decent on them, I, I, I guess. Um, how the heck am I supposed to hit to the hole there? Well, it's a par 4, so that explains why I can't hit to it in one shot. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, that's going to be too much power then, isn't it? Oh, crappers. Here we go, too much power. Oh my god. What does this game want out of me? Like, how does this game determine power? It's obviously not determined by, like, calculations of some sort. You know, like, by those notches on the bar. Or at least it doesn't seem to be. I'm gonna go to backspin there. Just to try and control the balls. Ah, oh, too much. Or maybe I just didn't have enough power to get it there. That was probably the case. Oh, now I gotta get over a little hump of the rough over there. If I hit this short, it is not going to make it to the green. And if I hit it long, I'm going to be off the green. That is... Oh, well, maybe it's not too long. I'm going to get a power on this one, I think. Because I think this is a pretty flat green. Or not. Ugh. So let's just do my best here and try and get it in. All right, power. I'll take that for a thousand, please. One more hole to go. And this one, I remember this one very much. There's a lot of walls, like there, right there, that represent hair. Uh, they are very much in your way. <laughs> yeah. So try and get yourself, like, an opening like so, and just aim for anywhere that there's land. Trust me on this. You don't want to go too far and end up in the abyss. Um, ooh, this may not be a good spot. I think I put myself too close to those walls. Unless I can hit through that opening over there, which is entirely possible. Let's see if I can aim myself through there. Ah, uh, that'll put me in the bunker, but that'll be just fine. Yeah, I don't mind hitting on a bunkers, especially when, evidently, bunkers don't seem to matter all that much, because the power does whatever the heck it wants to. And, uh, there we go. Bunker controlled my rolling. The audience didn't seem to like it, but that was a completely strategic shot, so what the heck do they know? Um, so I'm gonna put myself on the green like that. I'm not even gonna worry about calculating the power anymore. I'm just gonna pick a club and shoot for the green, because that seems to be the only way to get there. Oh, come on now. Maybe bunkers don't affect your speed. I have no idea. It just doesn't seem like they do. Or maybe it's, it's just how the game works. I don't know. Maybe it's just I have to get used to however this game calculates it. But I can't figure out how they calculate it, dang it. And I'm still in the bunker. Ah! And I had and I had such a good run on this hole too. I mean I got I got near the green in three shots, which is oh come on! Which is pretty decent for this hole. Especially since I uh, overhit my first shot and got near the um, 
the barrier of the area. Oh, why the heck did I do that? I... I missed that shot on purpose just to lower my power there, so... Uh, that about does it for this part, I guess, and I... Yeah, once I get this putt, I'll see you guys in the next part. Wait, actually, I'll, I'll see what my score is.